this is the first page of my sketchbook and in it I was practicing for a drawing I did of a lady in a cocoon. So I was doing some studies and thumbnails. Um, I was in the library at school and so I drew the library and then this was from a cafe and I was drawing the people in the cafe. And this, these little things that I taped in are from when I was waiting at the bus stop and there was some pigeons and they were really cute and this was a lady sitting at the bus stop. Here's some rat studies I did for a print I made where you like carve out the negative space and then do a print from that and this was one of the failed prints that I taped into my sketchbook. Uh, this is a some planning for a project I did in which I sewed three bears and they were sort of mutilated and then I took a video of them and it was called Nostalgia. Some studies of a pomegranate. I made an hourglass. Uh, it was for something that you would put in the center of a town square. Uh, like a sculpture or something, so I did an hourglass, and it was kind of difficult to make an hourglass when you don't have glass or sand or any of that, and like really small, so that was interesting. Here's some um, drawings of the bears I sewed, and here's how it ended up in the video, how they were set up. Here's some more rat studies, because rats are good, and I'm going to glue these in later. This is more sketches for that project I did um, for the sculpture in the center of the town square. And this is the city hall where I was pretending it was going to go. Here's some studies of some people from Pinterest. And this was the cover of um, the play King Lear, which we were learning about in English. And then this is a poem that we had to learn in English that I was just writing down to remember. And it sort of, they went together. Um, some random sketches. This was planning for a project I did in which I was going to do three masks. I've only done two so far, though. Um, so this was the second mask, and it was based off of cherubs. So I did some studies of some cherubs and the colors that I wanted to put in the mask. This I just, I added some more stuff recently. I added this piece of paper and this crow because I've been recently really into collaging and um, sticking things on my sketchbook and not just doing drawings. So like there's more textures and mediums. Here's some studies of some sheep that I was doing and some dogs. I really like their shape and just how they looked. And this one has a hat, which is really cool. So, good times. This is a practice for a painting I did of this in a nest. So I was like combining people and birds. And it was, it was a good time. Uh, this was for a logo I was going to do for Atlas, which is the program I'm in right now. Here's the finished logo. Uh, this was for the painting I did called Pattern Lady. And it was playing with like the negative space, um, like drawing a pattern where instead of you draw a pattern, you draw around the pattern, which I thought was kind of fun. So this was planning out the composition and all that. I also like to sew, so I was going to sew a backpack, so it's kind of like planning out how the backpack would look. It did not look like this, but I like it anyways. These are notes for how to write an artist statement, which was a workshop I did with Christy Gordon. And that was really fun. And some swatches and a picture of a lady with plants coming out of her and roots. I was drawing on the bus and I was drawing the bus like how I saw it from where I was sitting. And so it's a little wiggly. 
because the bus was wiggly, and this is a person on the bus, and a study of a dude from Pinterest, and the colors are kind of fun. Um, I was watching a Netflix show with a girl band, I think, and so I was inspired by, like, their fashion and the colors and things. So, that's what this is. Here's some studies of some faces from Pinterest and doing different mediums and that sort of thing. And this was when I first started experimenting with putting um, different mediums in my sketchbook, like taping over top, which I thought was really fun. And so I do more of that later on and like collage elements. This was a planning for Bear Lady. Um, it did not turn out like this because I didn't really like the composition, but um, I really liked the idea. So. I did it differently. And this is sort of more collage sort of stuff. This was planning for a mural that is probably not going to happen because of the current situation. This is more planning for Bear Lady. Um, but like I said before, it didn't turn out this way. This was I wanted to paint on a t-shirt. Um, I still do, but I think I need to get some actual cloth paint. But more rats, because rats are nice. I wanted to do a tarot card. Um, I have this app, and it gives you a tarot card reading, which is really fun. Um, so I did the one that I drew that day. Um, and so I planned some stuff. And then this is what I ended up with. I did it on like a kind of funky paper. Um, but this would be a fun painting, I think. And I like this idea. I went to Ellison's, which is a cafe, and I was drawing in Ellison's, and it was just, it was a very good time. And here's a receipt from Ellison's. This is the view outside of my window, which is, this is the window over that way. And some frogs. Which are kind of cute. Um, I have this book and it has like some exercises you can do to practice color. And this was um, use color to illustrate the four seasons. So I just got a random picture off of the internet and made up my own colors for how it would look in the different seasons of spring, summer, fall, and winter. This was the living room. I was drawing the living room. This was the view out my bedroom window. And this was sort of like an abstract interpretation of the sky that I did after I came back from a um, trip, like an overnight trip in the outdoors, so the sky was really beautiful. This is sort of what I was wearing the day that I drew this. Um, and here's my dog. I think I need to work on drawing dogs more because... I mostly draw people. Also, I cut my hair. So, this is more of what I was wearing. I had really big socks. And these are some people from Pinterest. Or, I think this is actually from a video. And I really liked her hair, so I drew this lady. This is a thing I did where I made, like, Pinterest boards. Um, and I put together stuff that I thought went together. Like, the colors maybe went together. Or, just... The subject um, and so then I did a bunch of these where I would do sketchbook spreads based on the Pinterest boards so this was the first one and it was really fun and I got to do more collage type of things and painting and just like mixing mediums which was really fun this was more planning for bear lady I was um, planning out the colors and this is a cutout from the newspaper of the exhibition that this lady's in. This is another one of those Pinterest boards. Um, and I decided to try putting acrylic paint in my sketchbook. And it worked really well, so I did more of that later on. And this is a drawing from I did from life. I went to the cemetery and I drew a statue there. And it was very pretty at the cemetery. Um, so this is more things I wanted to sew. I wanted to sew a dress, um, 
out of this jacket I had. I've yet to do that, but I will eventually. This is another one of those Pinterest boards. And another one. This is a figurine um, that is in the bathroom. And I took it and I drew it. This is a self-portrait I did from a mirror and I was collaging and doing pen and pencil and marker all together, which is cool. This is another one of those Pinterest boards. This is a plant that I'm trying to go, um, grow in a, in a jar. It's going pretty well. It hasn't died yet, which is very cool. And this was originally what Bear Lady was going to look like, but I decided to do it in just like my sketchbook as a watercolor instead of an actual painting. Mm -hmm. This is the view from my yard. So there was some snow. It was really sunny. It was nice. This is a feather I found. Some hairs from Pinterest. It looks like they're high-fiving, but they're not high-fiving. This is unfinished. I think I'm going to do another butterfly right here. This is a still life that I wanted to do in a style, sort of like a children's book illustration. Um, it was really fun. I really liked it. This is also another style of book illustration type thing that I wanted to do. So I kind of just made up a scene in my head. And this is a teapot. This is from a story that I'm writing or thinking about writing. And I was just drawing the characters, how I saw them. And one of the scenes I drew out like you would a comic almost. So like a sequence of events. I think I'm going to add more color to this too. This is the bathroom. I was just sitting in the corner and trying it. It was really fun and chill. And these are from Pinterest, the two images that I mushed together. So it's like a Frankenstein human. This took a while to draw dots or little lines over the entire page. But for some reason, it was really fun. And this is a study of a... I feel like it's a Renaissance painting. Actually, these both are. Hmm. This was playing with different textures and mediums and suches. And so this was like tape, uh, some canvas paper, and just layering different mediums and seeing how they reacted with, with each other. Planning for a painting I am probably going to do with ice cream. This is not done yet, so we can see that we're reaching the end of what I've done so far in my sketchbook. Because it's getting less finished as we go on. Um, so this is, I covered the whole paint, or the whole page in acrylic paint. And then I layered other pens and paints and stuff on top. So this is watercolor, and acrylic ink, and Posca pen. So this is also something I have yet to finish. But this is a fun texture, so pretty excited. And then this is the last page of my sketch yeah, sketchbook so far. Um, this, I covered the whole page in tape, and then I painted it over with acrylic. And then I drew um, a little cherub. Uh, this isn't actually based on an actual cherub painting. I just looked up images of babies and cherubs and stuff and invented my own. And it was a really good time. This is a self-portrait I did um, from a reflection. And I was doing different mediums. It's like a sequence, sort of. Yeah. So that is... 
about four months of my sketchbook.